Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about writing action scenes. Most of the time, role-playing action scenes is going to be role-playing fight scenes. So I recommend first watching my combat etiquette video, which I'll link up in the card, because that talks all about how you can write fight scenes in a way that's going to leave everyone satisfied. But let's say you understand all that, and what you're looking to do is improve your combat prose so that the fight scenes sound as good to your partner as what you're imagining in your head. So that's what today's video is all about. The first thing to think about is how action happens in real life or in the movies. Action scenes are fast. Generally, in a fight, there's only so much you're consciously thinking about. You're more acting on instinct and muscle memory. So for fight scenes to stay really energetic, stick to shorter sentences and limit the amount of internal dialogue going on. It's also important to consider how the genre that you're writing in handles dialogue during fights. In the superhero genre, for example, quips and little comments during fights are totally normal. But if you're writing in a more realistic or gritty genre, Opening up your mouth for a quip really just gives your opponent a chance to hit you in the jaw. So we want to limit it in genres like that. So think about your genre and make sure that the dialogue that you have in your fight scene matches the norms of that genre. It can also be helpful sometimes to really slow things down, but do this sparingly. We're going to do this when something really important is going on that we want our partner to focus on. Maybe something really serious is happening to that character, or this is a moment in the fight where the tide is turning. And then after we have that moment, make sure to immediately pick things back up. Because fight scenes are generally lacking in inner monologue going on, we want to focus on our senses. Can your character clearly see their opponent, or is their vision obscured somehow? What sounds are going on around the characters that are fighting? Are the sounds distracting to your character, or maybe your character's tuning them out? Or maybe everything got really quiet because everyone gathered around to watch the fight that's going on. If your character got hit, do they have blood in their mouth that they can taste? Or maybe they smell blood? What does it feel like when they hit or when they take a hit? Think about the weight of what it feels like to punch something, or the pain you might feel when you get punched yourself. It's also useful to keep in mind the timeline of the fight. If you're writing this really epic battle of armies, then the fight might take ages of writing. If you're writing something that's more like a shonen battle anime, then those also take a long time as well. However, if we think about fights in real life, they tend to be over pretty quickly. In reality, people don't really get back up from a well-placed punch or kick. It can also be helpful when we're talking about fight scenes to think about the character's physicality. It's important to communicate to our partner where all of our character's appendages are. So what I mean by that is hands, feet, and head. Where exactly are those? How exactly are the bodies arranged? This is going to help our character respond because they know exactly what position your character's body is in relative to their characters. If you struggle with things like this, I would recommend getting some posable dolls or action figures and arranging them similar to how the characters are arranged. Or even get up and position yourself in the same way that your character is positioned and imagine how the other character is positioned around your body. When you can see or feel that physicality, it's going to become easier for you to describe it in your words. Okay, so all of those tips are great, but what makes a fight scene actually good. Big explosions and stuff like that is really cool, but what makes a fight scene good is what it does for character development and plot progression. Think about your favorite action scenes. I'll give a few examples. Let's take the highway fight scene between Steve and Bucky. This is probably one of the better fight scenes in the MCU. It's really good, but it's not really good or memorable because Bucky looks really cool when he catches the shield and he holds it up. I mean, he does, but what makes that scene really memorable is the moment that Steve realizes that's Bucky and he stops fighting. Or think about basically any fight scene involving Vegeta in Dragon Ball Z. Every single one of his fight scenes 
further his character development arc of at the beginning where he believes he should be the strongest because of his status as the Prince of Saiyans. And then eventually by the end of Dragon Ball Z, he's accepted that he's not the strongest and he's learned to live with that. And every single fight scene that he has or action scene that he has develops him along that arc. So how do we do this in our role play? It can be helpful to imagine what things lead up to the fight and also what is the aftermath of the fight. The contrast between that before and that after is what's going to set the character development and plot progression that happens in that fight. Before that fight, ask yourself, what led up to that fight? Why are the characters fighting? Do the characters blame each other or themselves for starting the fight? Motivation is key. Then after the fight, if your character was beat into the dirt, then they probably have injuries that need treating. And even if your character won the fight, then they might still have some injuries that need treating. And even if they don't, they're still gonna need rest and recovery time after that fight. Depending on how that fight went, consider if your character wants to fight that person again. If so, do they need practice beforehand? If not, then why? Maybe that character is scared of the other character now. We need to think about how the fight affected the characters physically and emotionally. So those are all of my tips for when it comes to actually writing good fight scenes and improving your prose on your fight scenes. So what do you guys like when it comes to fight scenes? Like what really makes them stand out to you? Let me know in the comments down below. And remember to like if you like this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos, click the bell for notifications, all the links to my social media down in the doobly-doo. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.